After the deluge, dirt, debris and sludge coat the Slovenian town of Črna na Koroškim. Local carpenter Benedikt Potočnik is trying to save what's left of his family home. Right now, we're living day to day. We don't know what's going to happen. I don't dare think about the future. We'll manage somehow. He takes us inside. His tools are ruined and he doesn't know how or when he'll work again. The water came all the way up to here. It was all over. Now we have the help of the firefighters. They're really doing an amazing job. They're not the only ones. Upstairs, the cleanup continues. Neighbours drain mud from each other's homes, with soldiers drafted in to beef up relief efforts. We are happy we can help people and do our duty. That's all that matters and all we can do. But the task ahead is massive. Because bridges have collapsed and roads have been damaged, helicopters are having to drop in supplies to this region, including fresh water and food. Slovenian officials say that cleaning up all of this damage will cost billions. That's why this small country has called on other nations for help. Germany is sending prefabricated bridges. France has offered machinery and Croatia is sending trucks. The president tells us that's a lifeline. I am happy that we are part of European Union and in European Union there are a lot of funds. Slovenia cannot get it, you know, we, we do not have enough money to repair all the damage. We are aware of that fact. We do have courageous people, hardworking people, and we hope on solidarity. I know that all the damages could not be and will not be repaid, but Slovenes are a stubborn nation, you know, and, 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 and we are used to start from scratch zero. With the sun shining over Chirna, locals don't fear more flash floods for now. But authorities are still keeping watch because up in the hills, the risk of landslides remains.